what's up, gentlemen? So have you ever seen a woman, right? And you're like, damn, she's super spicy, right? But then you see her without her makeup, and you're like, ah, will the beast? Beards do the same exact thing for dudes, right? You can take a dude who's average looking, throw a beard on him, boom, Jason Momoa. Beards have the ability to transform and take your looks from a 6 to a 12.5 if you don't make any of the mistakes we're going to go over in today's video. The first beard mistake you need to avoid is giving up too soon on your growth. A lot of guys get like a week into it and they're like, oh no, because they're expecting it to be full and luscious, right? It's a little bit patchy, a little bit sparse, and they end up shaving it when the truth is if they just go through that awkward phase, their beard would end up being amazing. 30 days. You got to let it grow for 30 days before assessing the situation. Now, this doesn't mean just to let it completely go. You got to make sure that you're actually edging up and trimming up the boundaries, including your cheeks and your neck. When you actually trim it and edge it up, it's actually going to make it look thicker and fuller, not to mention you not look like a slob, which brings me to the next mistake you got to avoid, knowing how to properly find the boundaries. For your cheek, it's super simple, right? Take something straight and draw an imaginary line from the top of your ear down to the corner of your mouth. You're going to shave everything above, leave everything below. Now, the neck, this is where the majority of men F it up. All right, they're trimming too high up underneath their chin into the neck fat meat area, making you look like you got a double chin. Head straight, take your finger, boom. You're gonna shave everything below, leave everything above. That's it, game over, no other option. Now, in terms of how to shave, you could use a razor if you want to. Me, I actually just use my Brio and my Zero Blade, all right? The Zero Blade is a special attachment that Brio is actually going to give you for free if you actually hit that special link down below. The Zero Blade takes it literally skin bald. And so what I'll do then is come in and just right there. Look how close, right? Nice and tight. All right. And the reason why you're following that line is because it's actually going to help strengthen your jaw. It's all about that natural angle, guys. All right, when you do this, it actually is going to make your jaw appear stronger. And then underneath, same thing. No neck beards, gentlemen. Right here. There. All right, see, right there. The reason why I love the Zero Blade so much is that I don't even literally need to use a razor, all right, because razors are one of the things that cause guys to get ingrown hairs, razor bumps, razor burn, not to mention just irritation. The Zero Blade basically takes its skin bald without actually taking the hair below the skin, and that's the reason why a lot of guys get ingrown hairs, irritation, or bumps. Guys, if you don't have a Zero Blade, I would highly recommend hitting that link down below and actually grabbing one because, like I said, they're giving them away to you right now for free. It's a $30 value, which brings me to the next mistake that you need to avoid, and that is using a crappy grooming tool. Guys, your beard is going to look better when you actually upgrade the quality of the tool that you're using. The best tool on the market is this right here. It's the Brio 2.0. It is the only tool that I would recommend. It's the only tool I use, not only on my face, but also my body. All right, so check it out. I just popped on the regular attachment right there. See that underneath there, that white blade? That's actually ceramic, and it's got micro adjustments. You have ultimate control. That side, you've got a titanium rake, and then it comes with a bunch of badass attachments. You literally have the ultimate control when it comes to grooming your beard. Now, for me, I'll actually show you how I groom it. I like to rock the 10-day stubble. So there was this amazing study that basically took guys and took pictures of them at various stages of facial hair growth, everything from super clean shaven to big, bold, monstrous beard. And they showed them to women. And 10-day stubble was viewed as the most attractive across the board. Now, 10-day stubble is typically five millimeters. The way that I'm going to get that is get my Brio, pop the three millimeter guard on, and then I'm going to drop the micro attachments all the way down. That's going to give me an additional two millimeters. Now, three plus two equals five. This is perfect 10-day stubble. And then I'm going to turn it on and just go over my entire face. Boom right there. Perfect 10 day stubble. And then I'll pop the attachment off and raise the micro adjustments all the way up and come and get around my lip. All right. You got to detail that because that's actually another mistake you need to avoid. Nobody wants to make out with you. If you've got a bunch of like nasty, like mustache hairs, like going and curling up into your lip. No, come on, gentlemen, you got to trim it up. Something else you got to do is hit that link down below and grab a Brio Beardscape 2.0, all right? The 2.0 comes with a few additional features. You got this soft, sexy grip here on the side, a new sleek design. You also have this incredible LED display that's going to show you actually the RPMs, which you can actually change. It also is going to show you the runtime. Right now, I've got, oh, 180 minutes worth of runtime.
And right now, guys, like I said, you're going to get the Zero Blade, a $30 value for free, but you got to go through our special link. You can't go anywhere else. You got to go through our link. Guys, the reason why they can offer you this product at the price that they do is because Brio is direct to consumer. They don't have to mark it up a bunch of times in order to make their margin. They are offering you a superior product for a superior price. You need this tool. Your beard needs this tool. Your body needs this tool. This tool is the best on the market. The next beard mistake that you need to avoid in order to look sexy is having a big crazy beard, all right? Now, I know that you'll see some dudes that have like a big beard and you'll be like, damn, that's awesome, he's so manly. Well, the truth is that if it's not clean and kempt, well, it's not gonna look good. If it's all crazy and like bushy, it's not gonna be as sexy as possible. You gotta make sure that it's tapered, it's angled, and it's clean. You also gotta make sure that you're brushing, which is the next mistake you gotta not make, and that is just letting your beard grow. Once your beard starts to get a little bit past, like the two week mark, you're gonna need to care for it a little bit more than you would if you're keeping a super short 10 day stubble beard. Using a boar's bristle brush every single day, twice a day is gonna do a few things. First thing that brushing your beard does is it's gonna help train your beard to lay the way that you want it. It also can help camouflage a thin or a patchy area. The second reason why brushing your beard is important is that when you brush, it's actually gonna stimulate blood flow to come to the surface. This blood is gonna carry oxygen along with nutrients in order to make your beard healthier. Which brings me to the next mistake that you need to avoid, and that is not giving your beard the proper nutrition, all right? There are certain minerals and vitamins and fatty acids that are critical for your beard to look as good as possible, not to mention grow strong and sexy. Number one is biotin. Biotin is a B vitamin that's basically going to facilitate beard growth. Another nutrient is omega-3. Omega-3 is a fatty acid that is amazing for stimulating facial hair follicle growth, not to mention keeping your beard hydrated and sexy. Which brings me to the next mistake that you need to avoid, and that is having a dry beard and dry skin underneath your beard, all right? What I would recommend is use a beard oil, or what I like to actually use is an argon oil. Argon oil is amazing, all right? Every day, you gotta make sure you're hydrating your beard. You gotta give it nutrients. You gotta give it moisture, right? Rub it in right there, all right? It's gonna make your beard shine. It's also gonna help penetrate underneath the beard to make sure that you're not getting and developing skin flakes because that is one of the biggest things that makes beards unsexy. When you look down and you got a bunch of flakes on your black shirt or you've got flakes in your chin or you've got an itchy beard, gentlemen, that's a sign that you need to hydrate it more. The other reason why I personally like to use a straight argon oil as opposed to a beard oil is because I don't like the way that a lot of beard oils smell, right? A lot of them are very like earthy and musky. I like to smell like my fragrance. And so an argon oil is a great option in terms of giving your beard and the skin the hydration it needs to look sexy and shiny and soft without smelling like a lumberjack's nuts. Because <laughs> that, like whenever I smell some of these like woodsy, like, like beard oil, I'm like, ugh. Like that, that's what I would imagine a lumberjack's nuts to smell like. The next mistake that you need to avoid in terms of making your beard look the best that it possibly can is a harsh transition from beard to head, all right? Now, if you're somebody that shaves your head, but you're still gonna rock a beard, it looks amazing, but you gotta make sure it's a nice seamless transition and not a big harsh line. That makes you look terrible and like you don't know how to actually properly trim your beard. You gotta fade it, you gotta blend it. This also includes guys that have a nice tight fade. The next mistake that you need to avoid is having a big full chubby looking beard. And what I mean by this is is if you're somebody that has a beard and it's fuller in the cheeks as opposed to transitioning down to a little bit longer at the chin and tapering, it's gonna make you look like you've got a fat face, also chubby cheeks. It's about bringing your beard down. You wanna make sure that it's a little bit longer in the chin area and fading and tapering down to make your face look more angular and your jaw more defined. And last but certainly not least, this mistake gets a lot of guys in trouble and that is comparing your beard to other people's beards, all right? The truth is we all have our own unique beard genetics. Some of us have full beards at the age of 12. Others, it takes a little bit longer to actually grow in and develop into a great beard. But don't give up, gentlemen. Fight the fight. Go through it. Enjoy it. Love it. Embrace it because your beard is sexy.